people of the southeast. In the southeast area, the main tribe of people were the Cherokee. They lived in the river valleys of the southern Appalachian Mountains. This area also provided many natural resources to sustain their life. They grew corn, beans, squash, pumpkins, sunflowers, and tobacco. They gathered wild plants and berries from the forests. They fished and hunted squirrels, rabbits, turkeys, bears, and deer. The Cherokee had two types of houses, one type for the winter and one type for the summer. Their winter houses were small, cone-shaped pit houses made of wooden poles and covered with earth. Summer houses were larger, box-shaped houses with grass or clay walls and bark roofs. Cherokee houses were built close together to form villages. Sometimes there were 300 to 400 houses in the village. Each village had a chief who governed the village and told people what to do in day-to-day -day matters. The villages were all part of a larger Cherokee group called a confederation. Chiefs came from as many as 100 villages to discuss important matters regarding their confederation of village. One such important matter was war, because fighting was very common among the tribes in this area. To prepare for war, chiefs would hold a game in the villages called Little War, which was similar to lacrosse, but it had more players and fewer rules. One famous Cherokee was named Sequoia. In 1809, he went to work on a written language for his people. He heard many stories that were passed down and was afraid the people might not remember them. He gave a symbol to each syllable sound of words, some of which he borrowed from the English and Greek languages, although the sounds were different. When he was done, he had 86 symbols in his alphabet. The Cherokee became the first Native American tribe to have a written language. The southeast region of the United States is located between the southern Atlantic seaboard and the Gulf Coast. It's known for the beauty of its coastal areas, for its rolling hills and stately old plantations, and for its Blue Ridge and Appalachian Mountains. The land and the climate have shaped the historical and economic development of the Southeast and have molded the character of its people. Mild, rainy weather and a long growing season, coupled with rich, flat farmland, have made agriculture the prime occupation here since the region was first settled. In recent years, though, business and industry have grown to become more important. The relatively warm winters draw many tourists and retired people, and the population is growing rapidly. The development of the Southeast has been shaped and influenced by the land, the rivers, the climate, and the resources of the region. Twelve states make up the southeast region. Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida all have coastlines on the Atlantic Ocean. Florida's west coast, however, faces the Gulf of Mexico. Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana also share a coast on the Gulf of Mexico. The remaining four states, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, and West Virginia, are inland with no coastline. They are connected to the Gulf, though, by a good system of rivers, including the Ohio River, which forms much of the northern boundary before connecting with the Mississippi River. There are three types of terrain in the region. The mountains, the Piedmont, and the coastal plain.
The Appalachian Mountain Range extends from western Virginia, southwest to northern Georgia and Alabama. The eastern edge is known as the Blue Ridge Mountains. The Piedmont is an area of low rolling hills at the foot of the mountains. Piedmont is a French word meaning foothills. Except for the Ozark Mountains in Arkansas, all the rest is coastal plain, a low, relatively flat area perfect for agriculture. Vegetables and food crops grow abundantly. But certain crops grew so well here that they came to dominate agriculture. Along the Gulf Coast, sugarcane and rice are raised in huge quantities. Tobacco is a major cash crop throughout the region, but especially in the Piedmont area. Of course, the king of all crops in the southeast is cotton. So important to the region since the earliest days, it's been called king cotton. Much of the southeast region has been known as the land of cotton. Huge plantations were established to grow cotton. Plantations are large farms that grow a single crop. It took many workers to grow, pick, and mill the cotton. And Africans were imported to work as slaves without pay. Cotton and slavery would define the region for over a century. The first Europeans to set eyes on most of this beautiful land were from Spain. Ponce de Leon explored much of Florida looking for the Fountain of Youth. In the 1540s, the Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto crossed the lands from Georgia to Arkansas. In 1565, the Spanish built the first permanent European settlement at a place on Florida's Atlantic coast and named it St. Augustine. They built a large fort to protect the ships carrying gold back to Spain. St. Augustine is the oldest city in the United States.